Hello, my name is Stuart, and I'm a landscaper trained by a golf course superintendent for the care of Western Washington lawns. And this is a good example of uh, summer thatching. Thatching in August in preparation for fall overseeding. In springtime, this thatch, uh, moss and dead grass that I've pulled out of this lawn in springtime would be very, very heavy and uh, it'd be a major, a major chore to rake all this up. This is a good sized property here and uh, I've got a fair amount out of this property and later on in September I'm going to come back and aerate seed and fertilize when it's good seeding weather. But right now this is preparation for fall over seeding and uh, it's about the middle of August right now yeah, maybe 70, 75 degrees today. It's been hot for a while. We hit 90 and 90 degrees and we had 55 days of no rain. So I'm uh, repairing some summer lawn damage. And uh, like I say, the thatch that I would have pulled out of this lawn in springtime, we had a very wet and cold spring. I mean, it rained a lot more than, uh, than a normal year. And this weather's really changing a bit on us. And um, so I just wanted to, sh this thatch would be very, very heavy in uh, the springtime. But now it's nice, light, and fluffy. And I can give my client the best, best value for the dollar. And uh, without having to charge him so much for raking and cleaning this mess up. So right now, I'm going to. Do a little raking and you can see how much I take out of here. So one way to think of this is it could be light sponges or water soaked sponges because uh, in the rain this stuff just it holds water the soil's wet and uh, um, if it's cold the lawn won't repair correctly and that's in springtime and this is why I do a lot of fall thatching and this is Stuart with the aerating and thatching company I hope you enjoyed today's video thank you bye bye